rest to suck. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This is room service here at the World Class Sofitel. <laughs> we got dramatic moments tonight, I guess. <laughs> The best part about this show is that it is literally at the intersection of Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. It is the only drag show in Beverly Hills, the only drag show at a five-star hotel in LA. Yeah. So, I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of beautiful people, I'm seeing a lot of community, and I just want to start the show by thanking you all for being here. Thank you all for being part of the community. Because listen, we all have to create safe spaces throughout the country at places that wouldn't normally have safe places, like Beverly Hills, like a five-star hotel that's very, very conservative. So you have to pave the way, and I want to thank you guys for doing that. By being an audience member, you are paving the way for other places like this to create safe places. So give yourselves a round of applause! You know, because I see a lot of strange faces that I haven't um, particularly met before. Looking at you, looking at you, just kidding. <laughs> and you know, the first time with a stranger, you should set some guidelines, right? Yes. So rule number one is money up front, honey. Yes, so when these girls hit the stage, I want to see those dollar bills, those fives, those tens, whatever other denominations that you have in your pocket, out and ready to give these girls because, you know, they all flew from parts of the country. You know, there's a girl from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Don't think that she, yeah. See? See? I don't think she has that much money, so... <laughs> you should tip her extra. <laughs> no, but they came from all over, from New York, from Chicago, um, from down the street in LA, you know, we have to represent here too. Who else? Who else? And Atlanta. And Atlanta! Oh, how can I forget Atlanta? Yes. So, rule number one was money up front. Rule number two is fake it till you make it, okay? There's nothing worse than a silent person on the first time. So let's see how you guys fake it. One, two, three! <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even realize that you were faking it. <laughs> Good. Rule number three is I want to see you guys drunk because it's always better when it's looped up, right? So get those cocktails from the bar. If you are a sober person, you know, it's always nice to pay it forward and get someone else lubricated. <laughs> And last but not least, I want you guys to have a blast, right? Yes. yes. So, what are we gonna do tonight? We're gonna have a blast. Okay. I guess, I guess listening comprehension isn't quite there yet. You need to get a little more lubricated, but we'll get there. We'll get there. And you know, you know, I always tell people the first time strangers. You might want to videotape it because you don't know if I'm going to get famous. <laughs> so there's a lot of girls that got famous from videotapes. But make sure to use the flash. We already got a videotape right here. Hi. Ain't got no flash though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just in shape. Hi, Diana Jackoff. Not to be confused with Jack Kerouac. <laughs> it's confusing, I know. <laughs> This first girl, she's from the Windy City. She 